Hi there, Capricorn, Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your February 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. Now, before we dive deep into the reading, just do know that this is a general reading, so it may or may not necessarily tuning in for each and every Capricorns out there. So just keep that in mind. So on other cases it might be tuning into you on other cases it might be tuning into someone else so it may vary so this reading is also for male and female it comes in vice versa it could be something that you are going to experience or something that you know maybe your partner or the other person in mind is experiencing towards you so it comes in that kind of format just keep that in mind so um yeah without any further ado let's get on with the reading <laughs> Okay, Capricorns. So um, I can feel that for Capricorns, it is carrying the energy of some form of um, trauma in the past, maybe. I just kind of feel that this could be a time we're in. It can be a very turbulent time for some of you. maybe because something has happened it is showing me here that you know you want to leave something behind there is something that you want to leave behind and it could be a relationship it could be a specific person that you don't want to have any connection with anymore or this could just be you know you want to change something in your life or you want to change something in the relationship I just kind of feel that you know something is stagnant something there is something that is um becoming dull becoming um boring becoming you know lifeless so it could be what's been going on with you personally it could be when it comes to your love life you know and whatever the focus is I am getting here the feeling that you want to change that and you want to bring some form of optimism and happiness into that scenario. You want things to get better and you know that's mainly what every one of us do want. But right now I kind of feel that you are leaning on to the future. future. You're thinking about the future of the possibilities of what the future can bring in your life and i kind of feel that there is this energy as if you have been getting a lot of spiral of negative events and you want to get rid of that you want to lift up the burden and you don't want the present situ situation that you have of course this is going to be you know i guess this is this can be a very specific reading for someone because i really doubt that a lot of capricorns are going to feel this way so there may be a few capricorns or you know capricorn strong energy in their chart who are feeling this need for change to happen in their life it is showing me here that in the past something has brought you down some form of news came up which is quite devastating maybe you were expecting a really positive news and what you got is either a betrayal or a disappointment something like that is coming up and I kind of feel that it this is making you quite negative, you know. Like, you know what you want. You know that you want for things to push forward. You want things to change. But you don't know who to trust anymore. You don't know what to believe. You don't know who to trust. And all you can 
do right now or think about is I am feeling this way. I am hurt. I am betrayed. I don't know anything anymore. I'm just kind of feeling that you know there is a form of stuck energy. You cannot help but think negatively or you know thinking about what has happened, how things have made you feel. You know your worth. Do you feel worthless in that situation? There is that focusing energy right there because of what has happened to you. Maybe someone that you have trust um, has let you down, and that is really taking a toll on you. It is showing me here, though, that you might be entering a time of confusion. It could be something that you are already experiencing during January, or it can also be that this is something that is just about to manifest during February. But it is showing me here that, yes, there is a form of confusion. You might experience some form of blockage or um, problem when it comes to communicating with someone, with your friends or with your social network, I, either of those things. I just kind of feel that, you know, trust is going to be a big issue and values are becoming of importance what do you really want to achieve in life what do you want out of life what kind of partnership you want and who is really there for you during the darkest times of your life so um yeah i kind of feel that what will happen here in a nutshell is that there is going to be a chance for you to uh, mingle with a group of people or meeting a lot of people i do see that the potential of conversations and you know a lot of wonderful things but you will also encounter a setback that is clearly what is being shown here you might enter a, a period of setback or negative thinking or um some form of clouds in your head but you are experiencing that leading on to a different scenario like something like that it's like you are experiencing the confusion so that you will be able to take action to find clarity whether that is to clear something out by talking with someone talking to finding the truth um finding the truth from someone you know clearing things out so i just kind of feel that there is something about communication here something about confusion and getting clarity out of that finding your way to understand things especially things that you feel that you are clearly lost because i kind of feel that a lot of capricorns might be you know feeling confused and lost one way or another a lot of you guys may be at the point wherein you're going to take action to finally set the deal about a certain relationship maybe you are in a um, third party relationship or you are in a relationship wherein you don't know if you are committed to each other is this an open relationship or is this a casual relationship are we exclusive with each other so m there could be some form of confusion in a certain relationship and you will get to the bottom of this especially if there are gossips you know gossips people are talking about something and you have no idea you don't know what is the truth someone is um maybe um per 
insisting that hey your partner is cheating behind your back and you don't know if you should trust that information or not so there is some form of you know gossips and miscommunication that can be happening and you finding your way whether that is the truth or not so you will set the deal here there's definitely going to be something about communication we also have the th the third house over here in south node and libra so there is really a potential of discerning relationships of all sorts so and if you have judged that the person whom you have trust and given your all has betrayed you you might just end that relationship or you might you know give the verdict that okay i had enough and i just want to let you go you know there is that chance of of ending something but you're not doing it because if you, you just find out you know i kind of feel that you might be choosing to make a decision out of the relationship because you want your own sanity back you want to have a peace of mind you want to feel healed but there's also a chance here that you know i'm not saying that you will break up with someone i'm saying that there could be a confusion in terms of communication and you have to get the bottom of that because there is also a potential that maybe it's not the truth maybe you know people are just assuming and telling stuff without concrete facts so just make sure that you are finding out the truth and you're not just being led on by other people who is t who is telling you random stuff you know we know how gossips are made and one information always leads to something bigger and you know sometimes exaggerated more than usual as well so um it's very important that you discern whether what is the truth and not the truth of a relationship and find your way to make the decision on how to deal with it i do feel that you will find out something though and if there is something that you don't have any access of you are going to take action to do something like you know you are going to fight your way to find the truth we also have here a lot of healing cards the yoga family culture and the healer card they are all healing cards and it is you know the advice of this entire reading so eventually though the, the family culture is all about trying to get more information so yeah you might be you know maybe hiring a private investigator or something to really <laughs> figure things out you know that is going to be for some of you guys but i do know that there is an energy here of cautiousness like okay i don't know if i should trust you so i'm going to find out whatever that i can so um yeah there is some form of truth here and for some of you it could be that you you might find out that you know maybe i'm not really saying that some of you might find out that they're being betrayed but some form form of upset can be experienced like someone has let you down there is a form of disappointment but also this can also be a form wherein you will be able to find clarity to understand that aha uh -huh, okay i am just misunderstanding everything and this person actually cares about me or you know it could be in different scenarios so i'm not gonna be all negative here or all positive to you guys but 
the dynamics of what I want to share with you is that there is some form of truth that is going to come up. You are going to find out what that is. And whether the truth is positive or negative is going to be it's going to vary for each and every one of you guys. But the idea here is that you are going to find out something, some form of information that can really become a big factor into the situation or relationship that you have in your life, whether it's a marriage or a love affair of some kind. This can be, when it comes to dating life though, with, with, if you're single, then this can be manifesting in a way wherein you might choose to let go of the past or maybe you're struggling to let go of the past completely. But there is a desire, desire here to move forward, to start something new. And you might actually meet someone or be able to engage with someone, maybe date someone within the month of February, but you might not know if you should trust this person because you have developed a trust issue, like you don't know if you should trust the person because of your past experiences. So um, yeah, there is some form of doubt that you might feel. So. And I kind of feel that it's okay because, you know, test the waters first. Don't jump in before you you see, before you observe how the person is towards you, you know, if they are someone real or just a fake person, especially with online dating, um, it's quite risky, right? So, um, yeah, you might also spend a lot of time daydreaming thinking about things all those kinds of stuff so i would i kind of feel that you know really the idea here is to focus on healing yourself finding peace and contentment that sort of thing so eventually you will be able to find clarity after battling the confusion that kind of thing i do believe that you already know if your situation can be saved or not i kind of feel that you know if change is needed in your life you know you might pretend that you don't know, but I kind of feel here that for a lot of Capricorns, you know that you have to let things go, that you need to change, and something has to change in your life. So yeah, and right now, it's a matter of accepting it and, you know, um, starting afresh. don't try to think of trying to work something that you already know cannot be resolved you know i guess i just kind of feel that there are some of you guys who are maybe still leaning on to something that has already disappointed them in the past of course that's not going to be the same for each and every one of you guys so um yeah but do know that if you overcome this phase something better is going to come in some form of new energy is going to come in and you will feel better trust me on that you will feel better so yeah for now it's all about finding out the truth and learning to cope up with what's about to happen you know conversations communications that needs some tweaking <laughs> those kinds of stuff so um yeah and if there is something unfair going on like i said earlier you are going to do something about it and it's not about being confused it's all about 
doing something, taking action for the sake of your own self, your own sanity. So, um, yeah, it's quite a heavy reading if you ask me, but um, yeah, this is what I'm getting from you guys, Capricorn. I do hope that um, I do hope that this is not the case for uh, for many of you. But um, yeah, this is my reading for you guys, Capricorn. And I do hope that this reading can be helpful for some of you. And for other people, I do know that some people don't like negative readings. And I do, I do am apologizing for that because um, it's not that I'm being negative. I just want to share you guys the information that I have over here. And I just want to just say it out there. Whether that happens or not, um, only you will know. If it if it doesn't happen, I mean, I'm going to be happy about that because it means that, you know, um, I don't want any negatives to happen to each and every one of you, of course. So, and it it's not always going to happen exactly how I say it but the energy could be similar so just keep in mind the key words that I keep repeating all throughout the video so um yeah so any information that comes to you don't try to believe in it 100% remember that you need to find out if that is a valid information first if that is the truth Once you find out the truth, then you can take action on what you should do about that information. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. If you'd like a more personal reading, you can do that by booking a session with me on my website in the stars by Chrissy.com. And I shall see you again next month. Thank you, Capricorns.